here at Team Flexco, Game 5 Joint Day Handicap and Interactive Approach for Neuromuscular Patients. It is a therapeutic technique of engaging and measurable. After winning first prize at Evo 2025, we were inspired to enhance Flexco by integrating additional healthcare parameters. This was the seed studio grow ITC high accuracy temperature sensor, which we received as a part of Evolve 24 rewards. Its precision and stability make it ideal for monitoring subtle changes in body temperature during rehabilitation. Adding this sensor allows us to monitor how the patient's body reacts to exercise. This helps therapists detect signs of fatigue, overheating, or abnormal temperature variations during therapy sessions. Along with this motion and pressure sensing, now our system gives more additional features like real-time feedback on pressure applied, degree of motion and body temperature. These three key features will be helping the patient and therapist to get instant data on the real-time feedback. Flexgo's rehabilitation game, the player moves his spacecraft up, down, left and right using wrist movements. Special actions such as shooting or interacting with objects are triggered by pressing a small pressure bulb. The mechanism works through an isometric action where force is applied without visible limb movement and the pressure is sensed, processed instantly and reflected in the game. We came to this idea while we were doing internship in one hospital and had an interaction with a child's parent. The child was suffering from carpet tunnel syndrome and was advised to do ball exercises but he was not doing it because it was not at all engaging, entertaining or motivating. His parents said he loves to play video games. So we thought that why can't we integrate both if the player's movement can be controlled with rehabilitation exercises that will create a great impact on patient and gamified rehabilitation field. That's how Flexcore was born. Real-time feedback shows three key values. Degree of motion for strength rehabilitation, pressure for finger rehabilitation and body temperature using the Seed Studio high accuracy sensor. Tracking temperature is vital as neuromuscular and post-stroke patients can overheat during prolonged sessions. If it crosses a safe limit, the system can warn the therapist, reduce the game difficulty or allow cooldown breaks, keeping rehabilitation safe, personalized and effective. CITOR is an interdisciplinary approach where in uh, rehabilitation, the therapy is uh, combined with the game fed approach, uh, wherein uh, the patients will feel much more uh, engaged and entertained. So the level of engagement will be more in uh, game fed approaches and that is the most important advantage of uh, therapy in using this approach. It has a two-way feedback mechanism wherein the patient can uh, experience whether the level set by the clinician is uh, adaptable, uh, whether he himself is uh, experiencing any progress or not. And at the other end, the clinician uh, can set various levels according to the performance or the uh, functionality of the patient. Uh, so it's, it's a two-way mechanism wherein uh, the treatment will become much more effective.